Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a weekly vlog. Hope you guys are doing well. I want to remind you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. starting a business you do not have the money to pay anybody anything mm -hmm. keep everything you can mm -hmm. do it for as long as possible by yourself that you can without giving other people your money yeah because you just you can't afford it you know you can't afford three four hundred bucks a month to be farming out to a social media company yeah. or a video company mm -hmm. you know, and stuff that you can be doing yourself yeah. there are videos that you can teach yourself oh yeah so it's uh it's Tuesday night. I'm gonna have to start working on uh, the Wednesday video, which this is gonna be in. But uh, wanted to show you guys. I haven't worked out for seven days, and the reason being is not because I'm being lazy, not because I don't want to, but I have a pre-existing condition with one of my knees. Um, early on in life, I used to skateboard a lot. Um, I was decent, you know, um, but my body took a lot of uh, abuse from that and so one of the things was I uh, partially tore one of my meniscus in my left knee and never got it uh, repaired or trimmed or anything like that so uh, I actually wanted to show you guys um, it's kind of you can see here let's let's just show you so as you can see I don't know if you can see or not, but this knee is pretty bony. And if you look at this knee, like it's it's pretty swollen most of the time compared to this one. See how there's no like push in. There's no real like fat, but in here you can actually see the swelling. You can actually see my knee pushed in. Yeah, so that's that's the one of the things uh the other one is my ankle some of you know about this some of you don't so let me show you that too so if you look here you can actually see uh, i have a scar here and then on the other side here let me flip it around i've got another scar heading up on this side here Let's see. And that one, I actually um, twisted my foot 180 degrees the other way. So let me set this down so I'm not holding it the whole time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I twisted my ankle, my foot 180 degrees to where my toes were facing backwards. And uh, had to have surgery, 11 screws, two plates put into it. But both of those injuries uh, pay, play a big role into uh, when I start working out. Um, you know, sometimes I'll get really sore. And my knee especially, I'll get tendonitis and other things in it to where I can hardly walk. And so I had to take a break. I had to, because I hadn't been very active. So um, the flare-up in my knee... Um, I think partially came from the working out, but also um, Sunday, two weeks ago, um, I went pretty hard. We were messing around playing soccer and basketball and other things. And I think that range of motion really, really jacked up my knee again. So I'm going to get back at it tomorrow. I'm not at a hundred percent with my knee, but I have my knee brace. I found it again. And so I'm going to get back to working out tomorrow. 
and get back on track with that. But uh, give you guys, I'm just giving you guys a little heads up of why you haven't seen any posts or anything recently um, for working out on my Instagram. So. Why not, right, yeah. why not have somebody purchase both services? Oh, like, absolutely. You, know, have absolutely. Them, you get them in with the foundation of the website and then do the direction of traffic for them. Because well. a lot of people have a misconception that a website will do it all for them. Yeah. It will yeah. do all the marketing for them, which <clears throat> it's so I think that's, yeah, you're right. It's a common misconception because a lot of people don't look at the internet the way they should. And mm -hmm. the internet is literally digital real estate. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is buying a piece of real estate on the internet for people to come look at. And it's the same as if you got a brick and mortar. People have to come to you, yeah. to your brick and mortar, to purchase your services. Same thing with your website. Well, how do people get people to brick and mortar? They advertise, they market, they give out you know, promotions, and people come to their, their store or whatever and get what they need. Same thing with a website, just online. Exactly. So today we're here um, taking some photos and stuff for our entrepreneurship class and uh, so let me show you guys what we're doing.
God. Yeah. I like that. Hey, what's up everyone? Thank you so much for watching this week's uh, vlog. I know it seems like there's a lot more in it than normal. Um, that's because I actually missed a couple weeks due to being sick and some other things. But uh, I tried to add as much as I could over the last couple weeks that I've missed. Um, but again, I didn't want to make the video too long, so I edited a lot of things. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got to see some inside scoop on some of the things going on with me. But uh, yeah, most importantly, I hope you all have a wonderful day and God bless.